What is up, Madden 25 Gamers? In today's Scheme of the Week, we're going to be taking a look at the X-Factor formation. Since we didn't have uh, a pure three-headed rushing attack, we were using all of our formations. We're going to be using this as our core. Uh, if we really want to get down and run the ball, late in games, Pistol Full House out of the Pistol Playbook, bar none, the best running formation in Madden 25 period. Uh, you're going to use a package for this. Uh, this is why we use the Niners for this playbook. No other team can do this except for maybe the Raiders. Uh, maybe uh, maybe one other team, maybe the Saints. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to our package. We're going to click on the all running back package, three halfback package. It's going to give us Kendall Hunter, Frank, Frank Gore, and LaMichael James in the backfield at the same time. And we're going to be able to, and we're going to substitute Crabtree, of course. And we're going to be able to flip the formation without them seeing. So, uh, anyways, let's get into this and let's talk some Pistol Full House. First off, I want to cover um, my favorite play out of the Pistol Full House, the zone read, and that's actually in our quick audibles. It's our L1 audible, and it's basically just the read option. Uh, we're reading the right of screen defensive end, and here he's going to stand up, and this is why I love this play. That run is, is in my opinion, one of the is the top five run in the game. It stems from this run right here, the halfback off tackle. But now they add a read option twist to it, and it's just it's very difficult to stop because it's one of those runs not a whole lot of people see a lot of any. Um, it's a side, it's a it's an east west run versus a north uh, north south run. It's like a jet sweep type of run to Kendall Hunter. And with the fast guy like him or like Michael James running it, it's just so difficult for the defense to adjust to the speed at which you can run this run. And here you see we flip it, and now we're going to go with Michael James. And now it's left, right, left, right, and they don't know what to do. And then say, for example, say they say, okay, well, we're going to stop giving you the run to the running back, so we're going to call option halfback. You keep it with Kaepernick. There's no one. I mean, there's two guys. Kaepernick's a boss of a quarterback to run with in this game. And you can use the the precision modifier and stuff like that to completely torch the secondary. Here again, you can you can swerve them, you can juke them, you can truck them. I mean, you can hurdle them. Uh, I mean, this is a phenomenal run in this game. Zone read. Um, definitely, definitely don't want to try to hurdle. I guess with Kaepernick, he fumbles. But but again, guys, this is just a, a sweet run. Mix it in. Uh, but I think this needs to be your base run out of this package um, uh, it's just it's just so good zone read option with the pro and you can run it up the middle with Kaepernick if you wanted to because it's a it's a it's a read decision so it doesn't matter if it's if it's him or whatever and then again you're just trying to get the yes sides you want to stay disciplined with this a lot of people will try uh, I know I myself sometimes we're just trying to cut up immediately and that's where people probably hate this run but when you run it correctly you run straight to the outside and then cut up field. You get a seal here and a seal here, and you're running the ball in the alley. Sound familiar to the Green Bay Packer legendary coach Vince Lombardi said the same thing. This is a sweep, and we set it up with the Kaepernick, the Kaepernick threat of taking the ball on the right side with him. This is by far the base play of this formation. This is the play that we love to run every single, every single series. You want to run this play... A lot, guys. This is a phenomenal play. So be sure to add this one to your to your quick audibles for sure. Uh, next play I want to go over is the triple option switch. So we've been hitting them outside, outside, outside. Now we're going to hit them inside with uh, uh, an option to Frank Gore. A lot of times they'll play quarterback here. Uh, here you see they don't play the quarterback. We can keep it with Kaepernick. Um, and I love the fact that we get an extra lead blocker out there. Um, I like this as my R1 audible. Again, you're just... Pound it, pounding down their throat with, with your your misdirection and all your flips and switches. And the thing I, again I love about this, we can flip the play and we can run it to the opposite side here. So now we're running this way, and it's just like this hits you in every area. This is a running attack that it, it's it's almost unstoppable, guys. It, it's very good. Uh, and then again, you know you're mixing in your halfback off tackles, your halfback zone reads. Just very difficult to stop these plays. Um, Next play, I want to grab it out of here, and I'll show you. I think I accidentally forgot. I normally will come out in this play, because full house, you can't audible out of That's the one flaw with it. Uh, but the play that we normally will come out in, 
uh, is the halfback slam or the um, the PA uh, FL or PA flood sl uh, fullback slip. But for this, I'm going to show you the halfback slam. Basically, halfback slam is just is just what it is. I mean, you're just running right down the middle. It's just a power run. Uh, it's very easy to be stopped. This run's not very good, I'll be honest. But it mixes well with the rest of the, the, the offense. Because with a guy like Gore, you almost guarantee yourself a couple yards. And when you can show that you're, you know, you're willing to do this, you could try to cut it to the outside. But Gore's not really fast enough to do that. But again, you know, you just want to kind of show that you can go to this for for such if they start spreading out. So you know they're spreading out to maybe stop trying to stop those sweeps and tosses, and then you just come right in underneath with this run and, and gash them for four or five up the middle, and it just works very very well with zone read and the triple option. Another play I like to use here is the inverted veer. Here you're going to see the read defender is actually the defensive end, and this is uh, just a pulling guard now. That we add to the to the play, and it, it re really works well for the jet sweep. Uh, well, that's what I call it, the zone read play, because it gives a, a, an extra blocker. So here you see they go with the quarterback, and I'm trying to get the ball to Hunter, Hunter get on the edge. Remember, we can flip this play. Don't underestimate the power of flipping the play, guys. Uh, flipping the play in this game uh, is some sometimes does a great great thing. A lot of times they will play the quarterback on this inverted veer. I would say you're, it's almost just a buck sweep. It's almost trying just to get a point guard. Um, I don't know if there's any off the. Sh I've never really been like the computer never plays the uh, running back on this play. I don't know if the user ever they may option play halfback here, and we'll show you what happens if they option play the halfback. You see they go straight out versus at an angle, so it's just a subtle little difference. But if you can if you can learn it. You're gonna you're gonna have a lot of success here. You see they go with the halfback, and now Kaepernick's got it. It's just a power, a really power read option, and uh, with a guy like Kaepernick, this is just a phenomenal play. So now let's get into the one pass play I have, the deep curl. This play is really is we have two quick throws. Uh, first of foremost, Michael James uh, snap throw. It does not beat man, but it does beat zone. Let's take a look at a zone blitz here that you may face, and if you're running this, Sam Mike three seam. Quick throw to Michael James, get him open in space. And one-on-one uh, -on -one with the linebacker on Michael James is going to shake and bake him for days. Um, the route that does beat man is, is um, excuse me, Kendall Hunter's route. Uh, it's just an angle route. We're really used to seeing that beat man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, I like to just look to uh, James. If they're man, then I just throw it to R1, typically. I mean, look right to R1 and hit him. Make sure he's open, of course. What I like to combine uh, some hot routes with this, I like to put Crabtree on a smart routed out route. I like to put Gore on a block and release route, and I like the smart route and Quan Bolden's route. So you left, right, that's not there, that's not there, and then we can throw to the out route. And then if uh, they got all those, uh, if all that is covered, you're going to see here if they may be in a max coverage situation. Bolden's route is going to be able to be used or caught deep. Pass lead down into the inside. Oh, Kaepernick, I don't know what you did there, buddy. He tried to roll the ball to him, pull it off of him. Huh, I don't know what was up with that. But, alright, let's see here. And pass it down to the inside, and you see it's going to be wide open against man. It's also going to beat zone. Let me pop up a cover six here. Alright. Alright, so here's cover six. Pass lead to the inside, and you see it's just going to get in a very tender spot. That time, Eric Reed killed him, so I don't know. Normally, you can just dive down. And like I said, you know, mixing this in with these option runs is just... It's a very deadly formation, guys. I really like this pl uh, this package. Uh, especially, this is like my... I'll start out in games with this, and if they can't handle the full house, then I'll just keep going to it. And I'll just keep running it and running it and running it until they prove to me that they can... They can shut down these runs. I'm not saying that you cannot stop this package. Um, there, there's certainly ways to stop the full house, and I'm going to be maybe having to cover, uh, depending on how you guys do against it, if you need some help, I may have to uh, cover one one option or a couple options on how to stop this in, in a couple of scheme of the weeks to come. But, guys, this is, this is just a, a very good X-Factor formation, 
and uh, be sure to add this to your arsenal, guys. This is just great. Uh, I love this having access to this in the pistol formation. Uh, the Colts playbook also does have the pistol full house, so be sure to check it out there. Thank you guys so much for another great week. It's Scheme of the Week. I really appreciate the opportunity to share with you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it makes you better at the game, and I hope you guys can approve, and, and I put some insight on some plays you guys may not have thought about using before. Thanks for watching this week. If you need further explanation or have questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. I'll get with you as soon as possible. Have a great weekend, guys, and we'll see you guys next week.